How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be testing some Nike Tiempo 10s. Check out this color. These are sick. Let's get into it. Before we get these bad boys out the box, I'm just going to ask one thing from you guys, just to like the video. Honestly, just one like really helps for me to be able to do more boot reviews like this. But let's get into it. Whew. Not going to lie, when I picked out this, I was in between this colorway and then the white and reddish colorway. But these just, I love boots that just stand out like this. They look so clean. And inside the box obviously with high-end boots you get a nice little cool bag this bag <laughs> i'll call it the cookies and cream bag look at that it just looks like cookies and cream but it's pretty sick it's got the tempo sign and the straps are the color of the boots looking nice and fresh all right let's get the paddings out of here so a lot of people and by a lot of people i mean the majority of the people have some controversy with these boots now you're asking how the heck do boots have controversy well it is the first boot in the tempo lineup that has the fly touch plus which is the counterpart to what's supposed to be leather because it's well synthetic leather and that's why there's so much controversy but honestly feeling them you leather enthusiasts are going to be pissed at me but it kind of feels like leather obviously it feels a little bit more plasticky and they added a little bit more grip not entirely sure what this grip here is called but they're just some extruding little dots on the passing area of the boot i'm liking the boots so far even like just the colorway in general we got the the cookies and cream bottom as i'm i'm calling them now cookies and cream bottom and as you guys know in this channel when i do boot reviews i slap them on do a little play test on them today specifically i'm gonna do a little bit more cone drills just because tempos are meant for control and passing and i do a lot of shooting on this channel but we're going to try and do some control and passing but also some shooting so let's slap these bad boys on as i loosen the laces i can really see the fly knit upper up here on the top that's like essentially replacing the tongue i'm not gonna lie it's kind of nice i like what they did with that Ooh. oh yeah and wait for it Ooh, yeah, that was a nice slide in. Oh, wow. Okay. It's feeling good so far. Pretty sturdy with just not even tying my laces with the fly knit upper. All right, let's get the left one on. Oh, wait. Ah, new boot smell. Let's go. Okay. My, oh, always, I'm always saying this. My left foot is a lot harder to slide in because i'm convinced my left foot is a little bit bigger than my right um they feel pretty comfortable so far and if you guys have watched my re reviews before i do honest reviews i'm going to give you the truth um because if you want to buy these i don't want to lie to you i want to be completely truthful so you get the boot you're looking for all right <sighs> how'd they look these feel nice holy cow this synthetic leather is kind of like throwing me off it feels it feels good it kind of they already kind of feel broken into i'm curious to see how they'll actually break into my foot um if they're gonna expand a little like leather normally does but i am gonna say these boots are like super low cut obviously compared to the super flies or in general most of the boots out there these are really low cut and i kind of like how it looks like that all right so currently walking around in them they feel so comfortable and it's starting to rain so i guess we're gonna break these in with some water <laughs> but so far that little walking around that i did in jog they feel pretty comfortable but let's see how they feel with the ball like I said, it is raining, so it might alter it, but I doubt it. Ooh. That was a terrible juggle. Let's retry that. Nice. Ooh. So, normally when you wear leather boots, the leather itself, it, it, 
is a lot of padding and since these are tech not technically but these are like a synthetic leather the padding is pretty good um obviously real leather will have a little bit more padding but so far padding is pretty good on these but let, let's talk about the heel for a second so as you can tell it's it kind of looks like there's a knitted part here on the heel and it's pretty easy easily movable um the more structured non-movable part of the heel is a little down here and i kind of like it the the lockdown gives you a little bit more freedom to move around but i'm not gonna lie it could use for a little bit more stability in the heel area but it's not terrible so far let me know down in the comments what colorway you guys would have gotten besides these because these are very standout ish and like i said that's that's what i really like still a little bit of a cone drill i right, no complaints yet with these but i've just been walking around in them let's see how they feel when i'm cutting through and trying to control the ball okay so normally in this cold weather whenever i smack a ball like that it stings my foot but with the synthetic leather padding on the top of it with the fly plus fly touch plus that wasn't that bad Yeah, that felt good. All right, don't expect too much from that. That was my left foot. So you guys already know I'm terrible with my left foot. All right, let's talk stud pattern. Um, I'm obviously on an AG pitch. I think this stud pattern is perfectly fine to wear on an AG pitch. The studs aren't terribly long. And I, it's got six, nine studs at the top four at the bottom it's not insanely aggressive from what i've just felt and i'm not sure if it's helping too much but they added th these like two uh turquoise circles here and those are meant to slightly decrease the pressure on your foot from what i understand so so far so good as far as the stud pattern Yeah, I can almost confidently say that these won't really need too much of a, a break in time because they already feel broken in. I think one of the main reasons is for that because of that heel area, since it's not so um, hard on your heel or like super, super locked down, you don't get too many blisters and it lets just like your heel move around a little bit more. I haven't done this yet. Let's check the touch. Uh, that was pretty clean. All right, I feel like I have a pretty unbiased feel uh, about the whole cleat in general because I personally haven't worn leather boots in about, oh, it's been years. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. So the synth synthetic leather, let's just put it this way it's the best it's one of the best fake leathers you're gonna get these boots are also relatively light um normally you think the boots gonna be slightly heavy um once again obviously it's synthetic leather but i feel like the synthetic leather really made the boot capable of being lighter than an actual leather boot um personally i see that as a plus i don't know what you guys think about it but the lighter the boot the better in my opinion in some ways all right, we're gonna take a couple rolling shots. And that is an example that new boots do not make you good. <laughs> okay. Once again, and this happened with uh, Nike Mercurials that I, or the Superflies that I tried a couple months ago. I don't know why most of Nike's boots are like this, but the insole or like the actual padding on below your foot, the, I think it's called an insole. The thing you take out and then you can replace, it's always so squeaky. Like I'm stepping and it just feels squeaky. All right, you guys know I take a bunch of free kicks on this channel. So we're gonna take a couple free kicks. Um, So far, 
These boots are really nice. I am gonna say, if you're gonna get them, I would recommend staying true to size. So I'm a size 10 and a half US. These are size 10 and a half US. All right. Oh, come on. You tempo purists are gonna hate me, but I'm loving these boots. Also, these dots of on the shooting side of your foot, I'm not gonna lie, they don't do anything. Um, it would have been perfectly fine if it was just clean all around like the whole boot, but I don't really feel too much of a difference. Buena! Oh, come on. We had to hit a crossbar, we had to. That could have been a nice knuckle. All right, let's take one more shot. Then I'm gonna rate the boots. <laughs> I was aiming for that red ball. All right, after actually walking around in the boots, running in them, kicking the ball, doing some dribbling, um, one, I am gonna say, once again, this is a synthetic leather that they use for the Fly Touch Plus. And personally, me, I really like it. Um, I'm gonna give the boot overall a 9.5. Yep, definitely 9.5 worthy. I think they would have been a little bit higher if this heel was just a little bit more locked down, but at the same time, it's kind of a pre preference thing. Cause usually around this time of a boot testing video for me, my heels are really feeling that blister coming, but I'm gonna be honest, it feels like I've worn this, these boots for so long and they already feel broken into. But with that being said, make sure you guys go down, like the video, like I said, just liking the video really helps me to be able to get more boots and test for you guys. And also let me know down in the comments which boot you want me to test next. And also, rate my fit, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, see if I can do this kneeling down. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's so slippery. Crossbar. That was a good goal. That was a good goal.